I'm going to show you how to manage Google Chrome using Group Policy. So the first thing we want to do is download the Group Policy files for Google Chrome. So to do that, if we open up a web browser and then search for Google Chrome ADMX files, and then select the set Chrome browser policies on managed PCs. And then in the support document, if you scroll down and select Windows, we can then download the zip file of Google Chrome templates. So if we select that, it will then download the policy templates. And then if we browse to our downloads folder, we can then right click the policy templates and then extract it. Then once we've got our policy templates extracted, we can come to the Windows folder, then ADMX, and then this will give us all of our language files and our two Google and our Chrome ADMX files. So now we've got the two ADMX files, the next thing we want to do is open up our Group Policy Editor. And then within Group Policy Management, we can come to Group Policy Objects, and then we can create a new Group Policy Object. We can right click Group Policy Objects and press New. We'll give it a name of Google Chrome Settings. And then press OK. Then we can right click our Google Chrome settings and then press edit. And then within here, we can expand under computer configuration. We come to policies and then select administrative templates. At the top, we can see that it says policy definitions retrieved from the central store. However, yours might say retrieved from the local computer. If it says retrieved from the local computer, you'll want to browse to C and then Windows and then come to the policy definitions folder. However, if like mine, it says retrieve from the central store, you'll want to navigate to your Active Directory domain, then come to the sysfile folder, then your domain, then the policies, and then the policy definitions folder. When you're in the correct policy definitions folder, you want to come back to the downloads you've got, select the Google and the Chrome ADMX files, and then copy them into the policy definitions folder. Then you'll also want to select your language pack. In my case, it's English US. And then within here, we've got our two language files. So we can select them and then copy them. And then within the policy definitions, come to the corresponding language file and then paste the two files in here. So now what we've done, we've added the Google Chrome template files into our group policy editor. So now if we come back to group policy and close the Google Chrome editor, and then we can right click and come back to edit just to refresh the settings. Then under computer configuration or user configuration, it depends how you want to apply the policies, if you want to do it on a user basis or a computer basis. So in my case, I want to apply this to computers. So I'll come to computer configuration and then policies, administrative templates. And now we can see I've got a Google folder. In here, we can expand this and we've got two more folders. We've got Google Chrome, and then Google Chrome default settings users can override. So the top one, this enforces the policy. So any changes we make in here, the users can't override. However, any settings in the default settings, users can override. As an example, let's say I want to block people from signing in to the browser using a Google account. We can select the browser sign in settings. We can enable this setting and then disable browser sign in and then apply in OK. Now we can close the editor. So my Google Chrome settings have been set. So in this case, I'm just doing one setting, which will block anyone signing into Google Chrome. So now we've got our GPO. All we need to do now is either assign this to our computer's OU. If it's a computer's configuration, or if it's a user configuration, assign it to our user's OU. So I'm just gonna assign this to my workstation's OU by just dragging it over the workstations, and pressing OK to link. Now this group policy has been linked, so any computers that are in our workstations OU will have this policy applied and won't be able to sign into Google Chrome. So that's how you can download the Google Chrome ADMX files and create policies and link them to computers or to users.